Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries podcast. Series Tres, episode 25. Oh, wow. I don't think I got that right. 26? Thinko is five. Yeah, yeah. 25? Yes. 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 This week I'm joined by Ryan Locke. Ryan! Ryan! <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> yeah, man. Give it to them. <laughs> Give it to them. Ryan! Um, no. And Tom Hello. Looney. Hello, Looney. everyone. Looney. Looney. Oh, no. <laughs> Looney. <laughs> Looney. sweat patches today. Sorry about that, everyone. I was saying that last it's week, really I, was, I set the bar really high for sweat patches. Yeah. If you can try and beat that, that'd be amazing. Well, it's been very hot recently, yeah. hasn't it? Well, I left the house in a black hoodie, didn't, wow. not realising how hot it was outside. Was it yours? It was, yeah. Can see a gym shark? Oh, yeah. So, I'm more of a my protein guy. Yeah. I don't know about you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. And a uh, number 10 merch. <laughs> yeah. It's so sexy. Yeah. I never used to think of it as sexy, but now I just think it's sexy. Yeah, I actually have been wearing his joggers a lot. Yeah. Quite good. Yeah, I know he's got a young demographic, Chris, but they dress sexy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Really nice, this energy drink. Yeah. It is. Ooh. Yeah, it's, courtesy uh, of 3D. Dare I say it, they have taken Monster's white drink and gone, we'll make it better. <laughs> and they have. God, it's hot. <laughs> it's warm. It is warm. It's a bit moist. I need to get one of those fans that are... Silent. Cools you down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, the fan we have at the moment is just like... <laughs> you know? Yeah. It doesn't do much. You want. It's on Zoe's side of the bed. <laughs> human what have i got on my side the door if anyone comes in they kill me i have my window open all the time but whenever the wind blows it blows my blinds off yeah it's quite annoying i wait just fly off to it (laughs) why don't you get dave to hold them yeah i could do do. (laughs) bloody good as well yeah power you have sorry we haven't even said where max is do apologize um basically i had a call with max yesterday and he said he's a gymshark athlete He's a Twitch streamer and he's too good for this podcast now. Mm. And I said, fine, that's fine. I said, do you know who Joe McGrath is? Yeah. Have you ever tuned into Staffordshire Radio where Cameron Green's on? Yeah. Have you ever walked into TGI's on a slow morning? <laughs> You'll see David Reese. Have you heard of a Kecko? No. Okay. <laughs> Forget that bit then. Uh, ever, ever watch Tony Wright wrestle? Yeah. I said, they could, they could come in at any point. They don't want to, but they could. And he, he started crying. Yeah. I just spat on him and ran off. So, uh, <laughs> fortunately, my spit cont- yeah. contained COVID. He'll be back. Well. And none of the aforementioned were available today. So, uh. Actually, no, I, I did message Cameron because it was last minute because he's ill. And uh, Cameron's working all day. Joe, Joe is off, actually. <laughs> he finished the one. But he was on last week and he's usually here, sort of, he's... He's like a season, you know, yeah, once yeah. every three months. Small doses, yeah. otherwise yeah. you'd grow to resent him. Yeah. That's it. That's the thing with Joe. When he was producing, he was there every week. Just his laugh was getting louder. The jokes were getting worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the deal with that? <laughs> but yeah, Max isn't here. I was watching his Twitch stream yesterday. He did a six-hour one. Six hours. I've got to be honest, Max. You'll be watching this. Good entertainment, but you are the shittest gamer I've ever seen. <laughs> you are you are awful at the game. It's just it's dying after dying after dying after dying. It was like it was like when you let your seven year old cousin have a go or something. Um, oh, well, I thought yeah, Max when, would be good. Well, That's what I, I watched thought. him a few weeks ago. It was so funny, but he was fighting like this dragon or something for about half an oh, hour. Yeah, <laughs> he beat the dragon, then he was fighting a, a woman in the sea. And he just kept dying. He was setting his wolves on it. <laughs> Max is in here, basically. Ryan, back to the wedding. Yes. So I never mentioned the wedding. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Awkward. Making me look like a bad... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Bad podcast host now. And that's the first time that's sorry. ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> I've sat with beans on my head. Tomato juice streaming down my face and no one said it was a bad... Bu- uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's what over. The, what about the wedding, Ryan? <laughs> the, we- the wedding was fantastic. Um, I was the best man. So I had to do the speech. Oh, your words. Arrogant. And... Uh, <laughs> It was. I was absolutely shitting it all day. Yeah. And it's quite annoying. Yeah, you were shitting it. I, I missed out, <laughs> missed out on all the foods because I was so nervous. I couldn't really eat much. And then as soon as the speech was over, I was like, oh. I thought the speech was before the food. No. Because then the then the best man can relax and eat. Usually they do speeches first. Yeah. 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 You want to have a word with the, uh, the yeah, bride shit. and go? Excuse me. Yeah. Not on. I I, you missed out, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Did uh, um, was it was it Kate? Katie. Oh, yeah. Katie. Katie. Oops. 
Um, Congrats, Katie. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you can survive his speech, your relationship will survive anything. Mm. Did they survive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was well good. Any one-liners? Yeah. Can yeah, we have a couple? Was, uh, oh, uh, oh. Yeah, well, don't do it to them, man. Don't do it to them. Do you know what's weird about a wedding day? You spend so much, and then it seems to be the case for a lot of people that the, the couple just get battered in terms of drinking. Mm. I'm just, you know, like, turn the death on the way out of the uh, church. So I'll do, I'll do my opening, uh, opening little bit, shall I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you all for coming. Uh, so, <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, "Oh, this is Katie's best man. This is going to be full of jokes, full of puns." But no, no, no. All that was important for me is that I make a killer toast, and that's exactly what I did. And then I presented the killer toast. Rounds of applause. People were at a standing ovation. It did go down really well. Yeah. 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 Uh, except on the actual day I dropped the toast before picking it up so, <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a piece of toast it was a joke because he hadn't eaten <laughs> just chewing that before he went up <laughs> just jumping on a googly eye couldn't hear me over the rumbling of my stomach <laughs> uh, but Joe, I was, yeah no it was good I've not done any public speaking like that yeah. in ages no? so. Ryan, it was a dead crowd Ryan got Robson out to warm them up <laughs> Mumford and Sons Hey. Not talking in the back. <laughs> uh. Hey, stop reaching for that fire alarm. I will finish this 20 minute set. <laughs> um, we we did a video with Chris MD. Hey. Yeah, that's out. Watch it. It's number two on trending. What's first? Chris MD's video, the fucking obnoxious oh. prick. Who does he think he is going around making videos? I'm not even in it. Um, Love Island finished. Yeah. Did you watch it? No, I uh, know who wins. Uh, I got to episode like 32 or something. I did. It's not bad. It's couple, quite a long way. After the Becky Hill episodes. Oh, uh, yeah. After that. I knew what would get him watching. Yeah. Becky Hill turned up to perform. Yeah. I said, hey, Ryan, Becky Hill's on tonight. Awesome, it's an yeah. easy wank. I had like seven free days of ITV Plus with no efforts. So <laughs> oh, just... man, that's scorching hot, baby. <laughs> and you, that and you can almost hear it, but the speakers were broken. <laughs> <laughs> Really some too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Did you enjoy Becky Hill? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. The, the performances in Love Island are always a bit awkward. Oh, why? There's only like five of them or eight of them there. Oh, that's a shame. Singing mate. away. Some people. I thought you just can't enjoy do that, can't they? What yeah. they do lends itself to it, but. Yeah. Did it work with Becky Hill? I mean, uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. Wow. Uh, her performance was, you know, she's still got. She got, she's got what it takes. Oh, a set of what on her? Pipes. Why are you thinking of pipe when you say Becky Hill? Because <laughs> <laughs> of a uh, beautiful singing voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does, it, where does the voice come from? Her diaphragm. I don't know what she looks no, like. Nice, where's the diaphragm? In her tum tum. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're thinking about the pum pum, not the tum tum. <laughs> so I, I didn't watch any Love Island, uh, but I was vaguely kept up with what was going on via yeah. Twitter. But. I didn't see who won. It was uh, it was Davide, yeah. who lives in Manchester, and Ekin Sue. Um, yeah, did not Davide, see coming. Davide was great. He was, that, uh, that makes sense. He was very yeah. funny. Yeah. But he's, from what I've seen so far, he's just spent the whole season just <laughs> slagging Ekin Sue off. Yeah, that's, that's a love-hate relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's... Uh, God, he's handsome. Yeah. If I look like that... Psh, <laughs> Go on. So many mirror wanks. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ever wanked in the mirror, Ryan? No, maybe caught myself in the mirror and thought. Oh. Ever had a wank over the Daily Mirror? <laughs> mm. What would you rather? Uh, probably the Daily Mirror. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I could find something in there. They maybe used to have a page three. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Daily I'm sure there'll be something. Yeah. It's weird yeah. how imagine if page three was still a thing. They would have had to put men in there by now to for equality. Yeah, and it'd be like a. You know, Macho Monday and yeah. just uh, Bruce with his cock out, not uh, Bruce Jenner. You get that in it when you think yeah. about it. And that'd be just your luck as well. <laughs> the one day. <laughs> the one day. My one day off a week. Here we go. <laughs> you want nuts today, mate? No, I'll stick to the Daily Mirror. Roll the dice. <laughs> I'm coming no matter what. <laughs> oh, I had to turn over and do it to the weather report. Not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining something. <laughs> Come. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, if you were on Big Brother or Love yeah. Island, what, should we do Love Island? What would your tactics be? 
Imagine we're all single boys, <clears throat> not hard. Uh, yeah. How would you make it to the end? Would you want to get to the end? Do you want to get out there straight away? Yeah, I, th- I think I'd want to hang around for as long as yeah. I can. <laughs> <laughs> hang <laughs> <for> single. <laughs> Fucking fifth wheeling. Well, I wouldn't have to be single mm. if it was Love Island. Then. Did you hear something? <laughs> <laughs> you were voted out three weeks ago. What are you doing here? Just hanging around, man. <laughs> you got a copy of the Daily Mirror rolled up under your arm. <laughs> Dressed as a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Every question he asked the contestants is about that Ryan bloke he left three weeks ago. <laughs> he, was, he was fit, actually, when you think about it, wasn't he? He was quite fit. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I think if I was in there, uh, I'd have to find the, the lady who misses her father <laughs> and sort of settles for someone who's uh, you know, a, bit, a bit jovial uh, and cares in a way. Not the one who's after, you know, a guy with a six pack and massive cock. Yeah. See, I, I always think that kind of, as a person, I'm quite amusing just being myself. God, like, kind of. God, big head, I'm not as. Do you know what things? I, I'm not as. Uh, good at preparing stuff and doing like set pieces like characters and stuff but day to day just little comments and stuff you know and just being about he's got no Gerald Hogwash in his back pocket no but you know I think I'm funny to have around I, last week. I, I like to think that would carry me somewhat would uh, would you ever just snap if someone was doing something if they were like just I don't know throwing squirty cream in the kitchen do you know what I don't I, I couldn't I couldn't be disingenuous but when then, you say disingenuous say there's a a blind woman in there and she yep. does a painting <laughs> She goes, what do you think? Tom? And you go, uh, I'm actually in this room. <laughs> and, and she goes, what do you think, Tom? That's the kind, of, kind of comment I've made. <laughs> Tom was evicted three weeks ago. <laughs> uh, what would I, you I say think Big Brother uh, is more up my street. Oh, yeah. Because uh, yeah. I think with, with, with the ladies, I've always been a bit... <laughs> oh, don't get him started on the ladies. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine I'd go in there and be immediately successful. <laughs> I guarantee my style. every lady would think, oh, you're actually gay, aren't you, sir? That is what the... That me. me. No, me. Oh, right, I'd okay. probably start, like, with my, my intro video or whatever before going in would be, oh, like, Mr. I'm, Big Bollocks. Yeah. And, like, would, and then I'd get in there and I'd be really socially awkward. <laughs> I miss my Big Bollocks. I mean, um... <laughs> I, I, yeah, all the intros are always like, I'm going to tear things up. Yeah. I'm going to fuck everything that moves. If there's a bit of snatch, I'll have it. Yeah. And, and then you go in there and like, <laughs> hello, my name's Jeremy. Yeah. Complaints. <laughs> I normally go from the bottom up. Uh, that'd be my Love Island tactic. My complaint is that Ryan should try and use his Chris MD number 10 merch promo vid in the Tinder DMs. I believe this would solve all his love problems. Mm. Love Max on Twitch, but up the loony cooney. Yes. Love big batty wacky Matty. Cheers, Matty. If you want to mention me in the future, that'd be great. Let's have a complaint, really. Ryan, are you still on Tinder? Um, not, not really. Still yeah. actively looking to smash, as you say. <laughs> I've never said that. You still, still just want to get down and pound, oh, as you no, like to I'm say. Just not, I'm just not really. Um, so looking to get Putting amongst the flaps, there, as you yeah. like to say. Yeah, right, yeah. I've said a lot to you, haven't I? <laughs> you really have. <laughs> Good job I've got big ears. Um, yeah, I, I've not really been putting myself out there, to be honest. Not putting it about? No. No, no. Just take what comes to you, kind of go. I watch the podcast quite often, but the only times I laugh out loud are in the most embarrassing situations, like when my class is silent or on the bus. <laughs> this is unacceptable because everyone looks at me. I'm a weir- at me like I'm a weirdo. So please be more considerate and only make funny jokes when I'm alone. Thanks. It is weird how the podcast is. Um, it's funnier when you're not supposed to laugh. Like yeah. I, sometimes I'll be in the gym and I'll go, I'll, I'll just see what we were up to. Yeah. Uh, and there'll be something ridiculous going on. You know, I remember listening to Brian Spieth when I was on, uh, on the Stairmaster. <laughs> I'm just smiling, like <laughs> laughing to myself, having to stop because uh, it's just ridiculous. I, think, I don't think we realise how stupid this podcast is until you listen back. Speed. Brian Speed is a favourite of mine. <laughs> this one says, fuming. Brian Speed. Wagwan, hombres. IMAX is really driving me up the wall, you dig? It's really fallen off a cliff since we stopped hearing Tom Looney's ah, yeah, in every single one. And I feel like this it's is a sad up. indictment at how far Max has fallen in his movie reviewing journey. Has anyone ever told Ryan he looks like Frank Ribery without the scar on his face? Tom Looney forever. What oh, Looney, Looney love? <laughs> Uh, what do you think of that, Ryan? It's good quality uh, complaint. I'm not really sure who Frank Rivery is. Ribery. He's probably the yeah. he's probably the ugliest the footballer yeah. ever. 
Uh, time for the news. Uh, this week, it's been busy with news. Last week, just after we finished the podcast, turns out Prince William's been having an affair oh, with yeah. a Peggy woman. I forgot about it. It's Peggy, yeah. Um, Ryan, yeah. you're our royal expert. What do you make of it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised. Ooh! Um, so, yeah, because he's been meeting someone on the side, hasn't he, to get pegged. <laughs> Is that what I've read? So, so, meet a woman on the side. Meet a yeah. woman on the side. You know, obviously, you're not surprised knowing that information. Yeah. But uh, to learn that information, were you surprised? Are you surprised that it's not <laughs> that Kate's okay with it, apparently? She's like, I'm yeah, not going in there. Yeah, I, I, I do think as... Um, they get away with murder, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and fucking kids. Yeah, because people like them. <laughs> as, as a man, they are weird. probably going to be king uh, in our lifetime, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Quite, quite surprised. Do you think yeah. it'd be funny when he sits on the throne for the first time and goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks a little hesitant. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not been on the news everywhere, though. Like, I know it was all it's over It's weird, Twitter. isn't it? Yeah, yeah they, uh, they just it, sweep it, it under the rug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, madness. We'll put it in a room with Diana's death and the child that was, well, children that were, you know, bummed by Prince Andrew. Mm. Yeah. Just say, we'll leave that there. Yeah. Best way to deal with it. Everyone's happy. Did you see Meghan Markle cheering <laughs> on Serena Williams at the tennis? Boo! Boo! Uh, you're supposed to be quiet when they're playing. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> uh, Stick with the Royals. <laughs> Prince Charles took a £1 million donation from the Bin Laden family in 2013. Ryan, back to you. What's going on there? Really? That's. M- what? I wonder where that money went. <laughs> 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 no need for any more on that. That's good. Are you keeping close tabs on how Charles spends his money? <laughs> uh, so it's a charity that Prince Charles is a, the founder of. I don't know. But they've take, they accepted a one million donation from the Bin Laden family, which looks a bit strange considering Bin Laden was a you know, massive terrorist. Considering that in them circles you don't just give to you know we we would just give to charity yeah but in them circles you don't just give that amount of money unless you want a little something in return. What about yeah. what about the nine eleven foundation? A eh? bin Ladens, yeah. Ladens even. Well, why don't you donate to that? Maybe undo a bit of that karma that you've got. Why not give back to them? You're not wrong, mate. <laughs> you know. Thanks. <laughs> not Thank wrong. you. Not wrong. Um, There were massive trophy celebrations at the weekend as Liverpool won the Community Shield. (laughs) And uh, a day day later, England's women won the Euros. But Liverpool (laughs) won the Community Shield, the biggest prize in football. Yeah, that weekend. That that day. That day. You misogynist. I knew we'd get him out with that. I knew he'd come to the surface. Just a joke. Just a joke. Dun it, dun it, dun it. (laughs) Just play up to this persona. (laughs) I'm not that person at all. Um. Yeah, England's women won the Euros. Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. I did. Did. Uh, Well, the second half, I think. Yeah, it looked like a good game, to be fair. Well, it was a good game. First goal that England scored in the final was oh, gorgeous. Mm. Great, that, was great ball, great chip, yeah. Yep. Congratulations. Second goal was very scrappy, I wouldn't have counted it. <laughs> uh, Tom, did you put your agenda to one side and celebrate? I mean, I don't really celebrate anything. Uh, this is all, all very muted. <laughs> I was happy for them. It's good. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I train a girls football team yeah. and uh, they, they were all around pre-game I went to watch it and they were all very invested in it and seemed to really oh they were betting <sighs> yeah mm. so seems to have engaged a lot of people that's it good thing going forward Will Smith speaks about the Oscars situation finally he uh, posted a YouTube video uh, very remorseful mm. but when he was asking questions that he said he'd been asked and there, there was one about did, did Jada's eye roll make him do it? Was that what led to him do it? Or did she say something to him? And his tone completely changed. He was like, <laughs> no, no. And it's sort of like that. I thought, Will, you've been speaking so genuinely from the heart. And then you sort of, you seemed very uncomfortable by it. There's still something going on there. Yeah. Do you reckon he'll be allowed back in the Oscars within the next 10 years, despite his ban? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Some film will come out. With oh, Will. yeah. Will's, what are you predicted? With Will this Smith and Chris Rock in it. Like and they'll, a... they'll, they'll be in a film together. 
that's what kind of film you're yeah. talking about. I don't know, man. Like an actual film or... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't Chris know. Rock isn't ready to talk about it. He said, oh, "Really? Yeah, he said he. Well, not not to Will Smith. Mm. I think he's. I think he's making jokes about it now, maybe. But the problem is, the pressure comes yeah. in. They've got to be good jokes. Yeah, that's one thing. It's 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 being ready to speak about it is one, and then being ready to nail the jokes about yeah. it because everyone's waiting. That's the real pressure. There'll be jokes about that slap in the next Oscars as well. But go on, they're bloody will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can see them already, can't yeah, you? I, can. I, I, I hope it's. I, I hope might it's... start writing them down and sending them in now. <laughs> getting them out. <laughs> Where are you going to send them? I'll just send them to. I hope it's Ricky Gervais <laughs> doing American it. American Universal Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I might send it to Universal. <laughs> I'm not going to send Stop it. Stop what you're doing, everyone. <laughs> We've received a letter <laughs> from Young Ryan Locke. <laughs> Is when they're saying the best film and they open it up and it's just your letter. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> and the best film goes to, hello, lodies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, anyway, do you, want, do you want to give us a, a little taste of the Oscars joke yeah. next year? Sure. Go on, imagine you're Ricky Gervais. Go on. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, if... Uh, uh, if... <laughs> This is just his style. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, good, yeah. It's good. He does yeah. this. He does this. Pretend he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, you wait Rowan Atkinson. It. You might not. <laughs> I, I know you've just done that really good film. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You think you think Rowan Atkinson for Man vs. B is going to be at the yeah, Academy yeah, Awards? He's, he's saying something. <laughs> oh, alongside Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, you, you haven't won any awards, Rowan Atkinson. <laughs> oh, is this at the start <laughs> of the show? Like, much, much what like, are you doing here, oh Rowan? Oh my God, let me do the amazing <laughs> joke. I know you've been nominated <laughs> I mean, the CGI, several times. The CGI <laughs> B's up there for yeah. you know, Best Supporting Act. <laughs> <laughs> Sat in the chair next to <laughs> Well, sorry, Rowan Atkinson, you're not getting an award for this film. Much like the Oscars last year, it must be a slap in the face. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> and shit reference for Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, I doubt he's it would have been funny if I could. Ruined his evening as well, you know. <laughs> any, <laughs> other, <laughs> any other actor. I'm a big, yeah, I should, yeah, yeah. All right, Avatar 2. Sorry, thingy, for Avatar 2. He'll probably <laughs> win Oscars anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Ryan, Mock the Week has been axed after uh, 17 years. 17, 17 years, wow. wow. Uh, Staple. Yeah. It was, well. I watched it in its heyday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we all did. Yeah. Uh, Thursdays, was it? Thursday evenings? I feel like it was then. It just was funnier. I think comedy in general Good. on like BBC and that is just, yeah. for me, oh, it's falling, falling off, off a cliff. cliff. Yeah. 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 And that would be funny anymore. if yeah. they if they just push someone off a cliff every week. Yeah. I'd watch yeah, that. The only one I really like now is Taskmaster. It. And even that, I don't watch it that often. Yeah, that's a good show. That's a good show. Would I lie to you? Yeah. It's getting on a bit now. I mean, every we know David Mitchell and uh, Lee Mack are lying. That is granted now in the 20th season. They're not coming up with... <laughs> when I was 14, I beat up a caged bear. <laughs> I don't know whose accent that was. <laughs> sort of a combination of both. Yeah, um, you kind of need to change the lineup, don't you? Yeah, but it's tricky because they're, they're good. Yeah. They're good. They work. I do love David Mitchell. Yeah. Very funny. I love Lee Mack. Anyway, Mot the Week, <laughs> after 17 yes. years. Um, did you have aspirations of going on it ever when you were a young boy? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. But... They liked one-liners on there, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Milton yeah, Jones. Yeah, Milton Jones, and he was good on it. The Canadian um, guy who does it. I forget Stuart it. Francis. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Do you think you could have cut the mustard on Mock the Week? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, no, no. I, I mean... <sighs> I mean, I got, I got fed up with it. Yeah. I mean, uh, when, you know, they'd spin the wheel of what the category would be. Yeah. And it's just the way they pretended they were coming up with it on the spot. Yeah. We know that's not the case. You're walking out before you've even seen what it is. You're halfway through your set as it lands on, you know, <laughs> yeah, food. I didn't like that one because it's obviously not possible. Yeah. Mm. And they're like... <laughs> Yeah, well, what's the deal with the... Uh, and then they just yeah, do the bit that they've been doing at Edinburgh that year. Yeah. I like Especially when basketball. you've already seen the bit. Yeah. <laughs> and they they had the... They were getting very repetitive with guests. Mm. Boring. Who was your favourite? Andy Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat Andy Parsons. I loved Frankie yeah. Ball, wasn't it? Yeah, he Frankie was well Ball funny. was good. Nah, he was, he was too safe. Andy Parsons. <laughs> How's he going to walk this week? <laughs> oh, he's done it again. <laughs> Uh, in Frank Boy's book, he talks about how much he hated Mock the Week, and yeah. him and Hugh Dennis uh, did not get on. They were on the same all. team, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but not not up here, they weren't. No, no. But Hugh I, Dennis, how's he on there? 
That's strange, isn't it? There's better comedians than you, Dennis. He's good, but yeah, I mean, there's better. It's BBC, well, isn't it? I don't know. It's there's stronger it's candidates. Numbers, if the face fine. fits. I know, but... I wouldn't have seen him on Outnumbers and thought, oh, he's outnumbered and thought, yeah. well, he should be on a comedy panel show. Especially back then. Think about how many big comedians that are coming through. Mickey Flanagan, he was coming through at the time. He was on it here and now, wasn't Kevin he? Bridges. Russell, <laughs> Russell Howard was on there, but I wasn't really a fan. I was never really a fan of Russell right. Howard. I think he, I think he, he I did never too, many, him too many Harry Potter references. <laughs> Russell Howard uh, seemed to come out of the whole... That's so random culture, yeah. you know, when it was just... Very true. Like, oh, what about this? Imagine this. It's now time for an ad read. Yay. Yes! 50 minutes into the show. My God. Can I go, go for a wee? You can't go for a wee during the ad read. Oh, no, you can't. Go on, you go on. Uh, if you haven't heard already, it's smooth sack summer. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're scaped from pubes to bum. That is great wordplay and gorgeous rhyming. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. Tom, do you shave more in the summer than the winter? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, yeah, if you if you go in swimming or whatnot, yeah, you're conscious that your shorts yeah. might come down and you want to be looking hot, looking yeah. cool, looking swell. You just feel sexier in the summer, don't you? This is it. And you know what? Your penis looks bigger when you shave. <laughs> Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer. Dive headfirst like a pool. Just what I was talking about. By going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with our code STP20. Now, I'll say it here. I'll say it quietly. Manscaped is the best product we've uh, advertised, I'd say. Do you think? I use it, I use it every week. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. Inside this package, you'll find the, the, the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer. My God, Ryan needs to use that. I could do Crop with a nose hair trimmer, to be fair. Mine's, dr- mine's a bit tired. They have the... They have the uh, Send me the package, Manscaped. They have the, the, the fitting on it, which I use. It's good. I need to use it in, uh, more often. Because, mm. you know, it creeps up on your nose hair. It really does. It That's... doesn't look sexy. Your bogey's getting caught up in it. <laughs> so I need to start using mine. Speak of the devil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you, you've got one. Yeah, I know. Use yeah. it, man. I will, I will. Yeah. Captain bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> nose trip is not going to get rid of bogeys, is it? Well, it's, it's, probably will. Really, yeah, it will help. Streamline yeah, I suppose, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? So you're in the pool, your shorts have come down. You think, oh God, let's start this out. Grab the man. Landscape <laughs> Smooth to the touch. Yeah. Hey, get your hands off. Yeah. Beach, lake, or shower. <laughs> Save this razor will awkward. devour even the strongest pubes. Do you have strong pubes? Strong you do. Pubes. You have the Godzilla of pubic yeah, yeah. hair. I guess so. Yeah. Monster that would terrify any city, right. especially two. They're out of control. They really yeah. are. Yeah. Right. I'll never, forget, I'll never forget that glimpse. Seen. Yes, I will never forget that glimpse. It is in our memory. Every week. Yeah, I know, but you've got to remember, you saw my penis slash... It do, do you know what it reminds ass. me of? Mm. Do you remember those troll dolls with the, like, the yeah. colourful spiky hair? Yeah. Yeah. One of those was upside, upside down, down, hanging from your bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think of that. Tickling you the back of your knee. You got, it's not like that anymore, right? <laughs> I remember you were giggling a lot. We always wondered what was going on. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STP20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code <laughs> STP20. STP20. Thank you, Tom, at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer. It's time for Slag Off a Podcast. Yeah. This week it's Hypothetical, the podcast with Josh Widdicombe and James Acaster. Acaster. I've done this before? No. These two, I see why you're saying that. These two have other podcasts with other people that are higher in the charts. Fuck off. Literally. You're already doing well. Don't be greedy. Stop taking up space, valuable space that we could be occupying yeah. as soon as we improve this podcast. Mm. Which I, I think was, we have this week. What's, watch, what's changed? I was going to watch more James uh, Acaster as well. What but happened? then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, he's doing this podcast. Oh, Get yeah. Fucked. Oh, talk to him. <laughs> Get fucked, mate. Yeah, man. Ginger knob. Hyper. That feels very personal. Yeah. That's, that's not what this segment's about. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my penis doesn't taste like ginger. It tastes like sad piss. Wow. And the other guy... Sad piss name. and sweaty tissue. Happy now? <laughs> Try to move on. <laughs> Josh Whittacombe. How's he, get, how's he got jobs? 
is, is, he, is he good? Uh, I've always found him to be a bit meh. Yeah. Like, no, no offence. I mean, you know. You're the modern day Hugh Dennis. Yeah. That's what you are. Josh Whittacombe. Yeah. Arr, yeah. Arr. I remember when there was a clip of Johnny Vegas going off on one talking about, you know, someone losing the rod licence. Josh Whittacombe sat there like, oh, he's not he's not saying jokes he's prepared. What's going on here? Loosen up, Whittacombe, yeah? Smoke some of the hash with my man Ryan over here and write some jokes, you dig? Anyway, <laughs> fuck off with your podcast. <laughs> It's now time for this segment. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Robbie Williams did an online test to see to see if he was a narcissist. And <laughs> Did you hear what that loony bloke just said? So I'm really not interested in the story this week. Quite blunt, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for this bad boy. Yo, 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 they want to know. Quote from. Yo, yo, come on, come on. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Wow. Oh, Who said that? Fuck. Who said that? You must be the change you want to see. Uh, that's annoying. I know who said this. I did. Yeah. I'm going to go for Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. <laughs> Thunberg. No, 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 no. Thunberg. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, you uh, must fair, be fair, the fair. change you want to see in the world. Go on, Tom. Who said that? Oh, that Amanda Holden? Martin Luther King. I don't know. It was Mahatma Gandhi. I knew I was going to say Gandhi. Nah, he couldn't have been further from oh. the truth. Uh, it's now time for your laugh, you lose. Oh, Ooh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I did a great character. Let's just, no, I'll give you the preview. Hi. <laughs> see? You see? I'm Gerald Hogwash. <laughs> Where were you okay. last week, mate? Yeah. Um, if nobody laughs this week, and I am down to two people, dare I call Max and have him on the phone to see if he laughs? No. It would be funny because then... Joe, if you two don't ruin laugh, then I'll day. do it to Max. Oh, no, no, it would because if Max laughs, then he has to come back on the next show and do... You we we could just get him in for the... Like, yeah. Can't yeah. get him in, can we? No, no, like, just get him, get him on the blower. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. Yeah, he'd, be pro- he'd be proper annoyed. <laughs> Honestly, that, that'll be his one kind of highlight yes. of missing out on the podcast, that at least he wasn't up for your life, you lose. Here we go. He'd be panicking at this point, scrambling. <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. Hello? Hello, mate. How are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Thing. How are you, mate? I'm okay. Do you have, do you have a spare minute or 30 seconds? Mate. <laughs> All the time in the world. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, could you just sit tight whilst we do this? It's time for your laugh, you lose! Um, <laughs> this week, I had the great pleasure of hiding a microphone... Uh, at the wedding you were at, Ryan. Right, brilliant. And I, I was there to witness your best man speech, and I got it all down. Um, so, <laughs> and I think Ryan spoke about it earlier, but he, he didn't quite tell us the truth. So, so let's let's have it. My name is Ryan Locke. It's Kate, she's one of my best friends. And she said, "Don't let me down." I said, "We'll see." I like to make some jokes when I'm, uh, well, just just in general. The fridge is a cool place to hang out. <laughs> It's annoying because I can't go back home after. I had sex with a horse. I could be sexy. Uh, I'm going to tell you something a little bit grim. I said to my mum, I said, Mum, for Christmas this year, go to somewhere like Malia or Cabos and get jizzed on by some c from Birmingham. Camping's intense. <laughs> oh, that's the best one. <laughs> I think Ryan did go first. Right, right. That's why I allowed there, myself to. Well, yeah, there's, uh, whilst I was going through Ryan's old stand up, I found my favourite one liner you've ever told. It's so quick, it's so snappy. I've noticed as it's winter, a lot of people have been wearing these, these fingerless gloves, the, the tramp gloves, and I can't understand why we're wearing them, because I, I've, been, I've had to put a lot of thought into this. The only time I could ever find use of fingerless gloves is if I was fingering a girl in the snow. <laughs> It's that pull back and reveal. <laughs> Where's he going to go with it? Thanks for the diet side. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, Max. Uh, uh, anything you want to say you. to the uh, the great listeners? Thank you for you know revealing what Ryan's like at weddings. You know. Yeah. I guess uh, <laughs> the, the, the listeners didn't yeah. do that, Max. Oh yeah. 
Uh, that was, was all there? me, mate. That was all me. Yeah. Get rid of him. It was, it was, just, just get rid. Oh, Tom, it was there? you've upset Tom. Yeah. Tom's there. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was You Laugh You Lose Ryan you'll be doing it next you that, was good, uh, yeah. that was a good I'll episode get, I'll get prepping oh. well, Maybe I won't yeah. My f- <laughs> my favourite bit was the ending Camping's intense <laughs> Camping's intense oh, My favourite bit is yeah, I like to make jokes uh, <laughs> Just in general really <laughs> <laughs> it's because I know. It's because I know the context of the video. Oh, that yeah. three pound cook off! I cook-off. still. Did it's you? Did you uh, fancy the girl you were filming with? Yeah. No. No. Big she, time. She's been in a relationship with. Uh, doesn't matter, uh, right? Uh, doesn't matter. Honestly, no, I really forget the fact that she's in a relationship. So. The way the way you were looking at her and smiling, I thought, yeah. God, we've he been wa- friends for years. He wants to bump Even cheeks, as you like video. to say. Playing the long game, yeah. Yeah, man. He wants yeah. to get up in there, as you like to say. Yep. He wants to get down and dirty. Forget being flirty, as you like to say. Yeah, he wants to fuck, as you like to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for this week's talking points. Talking points. Talking oh, crikey! Points. We're going to start off with a question that we dealt with last week, Ryan. But yeah. uh, I'd like to put it to you. <coughs> as it's the Edinburgh Edinburgh Fringe Festival, what if you had one week to prepare a one-hour show? What would you do? Do you know what? If, and you can have one person from the podcast as well. Okay. Mm. A lot of people uh, are busy. I, I would probably do... Oh God, One of was, you has to be wearing just stilts. Say, just, just do stand-up. Yeah. I know that would be... Uh, oh, no, I couldn't do an hour in a week. Yeah. No, you could. Lot, you right? could. Okay, I guess I could. Of course you could. Improv? Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go stand-up. Yeah. I'll, I'll, if I can take someone with me, yeah. I'll probably take... Probably yourself. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, just get used to... No, no, Stephen's going to be... Stephen's available to be a plant in the audience. <laughs> Yeah, so you can work with that. Right. Can he talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he can. Okay, right. What do you want him to say? You think I'm just, just giving out carbon dioxide or taking it? Oh, for fuck it, photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> I've just lost my spot on your show. <laughs> <laughs> fucking photosynthesis. <laughs> am I, am I going to be playing uh, Rowan Atkinson at the Oscars by any chance? <laughs> Big time. Just covered in bee stings. <laughs> I, I'd do some kind of like hilarious one-man show. I don't okay. think of doing that. Oh, uh, hilarious is a good idea. I just did a one-man for, show. Mine wasn't yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, my, my, yeah, bit of stand-up. Just just character work, really. Character work? Yeah, sort of character you work stand-up. on your characters. I don't think I would be, like, as myself, stand-up-wise, mm. I don't think I could Would you, would you improvise? Now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to. Oh, should we get a taste of it? Yeah. Um, uh, no. Your character is Sir, Sir Jonathan Banks. Right. Um, what's his occupation? He's a gay Nazi. He's a gay Nazi, and he's, and he's in The Chemist. Take it away. <laughs> Viagra, please. What, what for? My penis. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just struggling. Why? You look like a young man. Why do you need, uh, why do you need Viagra? I need Viagra for all my, my penis needs. <laughs> A one-man show. This is me. I said, I thought you were German. <laughs> I am German. I am from Kazakhstan. Why are you, why are you speaking like me? You mock me. I'm, the, I'm trying to drift away from your voice. Sorry, sir. We have to fill out the form. What are you using the Viagra for? I am using it for my penis because my penis will not go up or hard. Really? See. <laughs> it goes left and then goes right. Oh, well... Like a like a reverse question mark. <laughs> yes, I'm doing one man show in Edinburgh this year. Would you like to join as my partner? No way. All you've got is Viagra. <laughs> I also have microphone at home. <laughs> I I don't trust you. Well, what's your show about? <laughs> it is a comedy piece, a bit of character work where I will ask the audience. <laughs> sorry, sorry, your 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 improv is just you promoting the the Edinburgh show. People are already at. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 was that? Oh, was I meant to be performing already? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I thought I was just in, Sorry, man. Everyone's in the left. chemist Everyone's as one left. of my characters. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise I was right. Yeah. We could start again if you want. Nah. Uh, new talking point. This week, I wanted to get a BMX bike after riding one in Belgium. Nice. What's been the biggest waste of time you've ever had? Because I thought. This would just be a one-week phase for me. Then I'd have a BMX bike in the house. What have you? What have you done where you've just gone? That was a waste of my life. How did I get caught up in it? 
I spent um, I spent various what? evenings learning to shuffle to the yeah. dance on YouTube. What was that for? Yeah, I played a lot of Candy Crush. Yeah, yeah. I've played a lot of Candy Crush. Yeah. yeah, that always feels like time wasted. Yeah, games where you just leave them. Yeah, I mean, I've got uh, I started collecting football cards for a month this year. Didn't complete it, and they're just lying there now. I thought you were quite on that. I, I was for about two weeks, and then I uh, just got to go over it. Uh, learn, you know what I put? Learning Spanish in yeah. school because I've got it all now. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit like I didn't keep up with it, but also, is it just a waste? Yeah, we did like five years of French, and then in our year ten or whatever, you just got to do Spanish for a year. And it's like, why did we do that? Mm. Because yeah. I don't remember any of it other than the basics? Yeah, I don't. Know, I just think you, it's, you take more from your phases than just spending money and then moving on. Like, yeah. I don't know, I went through a period of collecting fine whiskies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun, though. It was fun for it. It was fun while it lasted. You, you yeah. went through a period of collecting fines. I did, yeah. Train. You were good at that. Yeah. <laughs> got, I'm still doing it. I got I got fined the other day. No. Uh, I, got, I got two fines in the past oh. few weeks. So I forgot to do that pay after 24 hours at the NCP right. on the day of... Uh, the video, Ryan's oh, birthday, because yeah. I went in and then we just rushed off because I was, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll do it after. I forgot. Called them like two days later and yeah, they wouldn't, uh, they said, oh, nothing we can do, we've handed it off. You'll have to appeal it. I'm like, oh, fuck's sake. So, see what happens. Also got fined for parking in my car park. About time to. And I have a permit, but I'd opened the window and it blown onto the floor and I'd not realised. Oh, they're, they're just, yeah. they make yeah. their own lives difficult. Yeah. People. Bastards. Skyrim spent a lot of hours playing that. Yeah, finish it. Yeah, I've done uh, just just some games. But at, at FIFA, the time I enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? FIFA so. career mode, I've gone so far into it yeah. on a few where I'm just simming the whole season, and I've got you know Messi at Blackpool, and I think, what am I actually doing? Yeah, go outside. I can't play uh, career mode anymore because after a season, they've all got them really skinny arms, and everything starts glitching. <laughs> it's shit now, FIFA. Think on EA. Yeah, yeah. I do sometimes think, fucking hell, how much money could I have saved? <laughs> yeah. I've uh, I stopped having a console after the PS3. So I just spend too much time. Yeah. I don't really play any games anymore. Other than... Just with the chicks, mind games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he want to fuck me or not? Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> There's one thing you can trust about me. It is my firm penis pressing against the zipper in my pants. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. As That's he likes sad. to say. <laughs> Hi, say I'm Ryan Lowe. You, <laughs> you really do. You do it on the podcast. Yeah. What's your favourite thing to refer to sex as? Uh, probably just shagging. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I ever. Uh, you, you guys just, you guys still sleep? Yeah, sleeping together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on. Sleeping together. Are it's you fine. guys just sleeping together? Yeah, are you used to are sleeping together, right? Well, I wouldn't you, say that, but... Like, why are you asking that to people? Oh, you're sleeping with so and so. You're, 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 <laughs> you are overstepping the mark so you badly the there, Ryan. Like, you, you two are sleeping together, you, you right? Can't, yeah. You can't play that off as your gay Nazi character, because that, <laughs> that is just out oh, of order. was a Nazi. <laughs> he wasn't... Oh, I, I forgot. Didn't see any... Nothing far right about him. Yeah. And nothing homophobic at all. Give you a little, I give you a little sorry, chance with, yeah. with, a, <laughs> with the penis. Yeah. Which way is it going? Yeah. Left, then, right, not far right. Just said it didn't work. But panicked. Who, who do you think would be more successful with the women out of you and Dave if you were both like really putting yourself out there, going for it? It's tricky. I don't know. I, I, I think Dave gets in his own head about it. Yeah. I feel like you, you would befriend them. I think, yeah, D Dave would lead. Yeah. Uh, but he leads with the... Conversation, and then I think it would become a bit too much. <laughs> he leads with a terrible expression on his face where he's like, like that. Yeah, he's trying to off. chat up this new girl at work. And he panicked <laughs> and he just went, do you do drugs? Oh my God. <laughs> as soon as he said it, he looks like... <laughs> so psychologically there, I think he thinks, what would take the pressure off me right now? Oh no. He's thought, I need to, I need to get high. Yeah. I need to get, get out of this state of mind where I'm conscious of me flapping. So bad. Uh, do the drugs. Did she do drugs? So bad. Uh, she did actually. They had quite a long conversation about it. Oh, you sound jealous now, don't you? you, you Are you two sleeping there, together now? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no, she's actually going out with one of the managers, which he didn't know about. Oh, anyone knew well, about. that isn't oh, on, is it? No, no. 
Ah, Shouldn't be like, doing that. So the last two or three shags you've had, have they all been from TGIs? Me? Yeah. No, no. Not two or three. No, just... <laughs> one, <laughs> one humble lady who you took in. Yep. And then she took you in. Yep. All of you. Yep. Time after time, thrust after thrust. Oh, God. Finish on me, chin. <laughs> But as she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, yeah, keep it in, Max. You have my permission. Um, anyway, what else have I wasted my time doing? What's the most time you've spent on something and then just decided, oh, this is shit? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I guess with the sitcom I've been writing, I've just, because I've, I've got work to do on it, I've not gone back to it. So I've just sort of left it there. That would be a complete waste of time if I never got back to it now. What's the, what's the, something you've put out there that was just like, oh, fucking hell. Probably be. something with a brand. I, um, Def- Yeah, definitely had to throw some shit at the wall. I combined all my watches together to make a belt. That was a waste of time. Cut that. I reckon, um, you know, working on my left foot in the living room. <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> Where did that get me? Mm. Swinging yeah, this. Fo- football's a weird one. I mean, um, my career never really took off. You think of all the time you spent. You enjoyed it, didn't Visualising, you? Visualising, helping, <sighs> working. S- sunbathing. The tan just goes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never been a sunbather. Like, I'd rather just catch a tan walking about. I really don't care about getting a tan. Yeah, yeah. Not interested. What's the point? Ryan, do you have a talking point? Yes, uh, I was just going to say, what's your favourite song at the moment? <laughs> People will be curious to know these things. Do you know what I've been listening to in the shower? Religiously, yeah. not religiously. Uh, Nat King Cole, L-O-V-E, mm-hmm. old school. It's from the Parent Trap. Sort of going through that phase, of the, you know, the classic Parent Trap phase you go through. The Nat King Cole phase. When you're 27, yeah. you just sit back, relax and listen to some Parent Track soundtrack. Parent Trap, oh, I can't speak. So, what's your favourite song? Uh, I keep putting Billy Bragg on in the car at the minute. Billy Bragg? Yeah. Um, Who's he? I didn't really... I, I know who he is. Like, he's kind of a bit of a left-wing, activist-y kind of guy. Um, but I haven't really listened to his stuff. Have you seen the film Sean Pride? Paul. No. That's a... Uh, it's a sin. Uh, well, it's, ooh, uh, first misogyny, now this. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what um, you would know that he's done. Elton John. Wow. You always hear about this Reg know. Dwight character who loves a bit of cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name in real life, right? What? What the fuck? And you know it from <laughs> Vickery Dibbling. That is a that is a secret in the show business world, and you've just gone and fucking splashed it over <laughs> the Daily Mirror. Not for the first time. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> good. <laughs> it's Daily Mirror because we're talking about mirror wanks. Yeah, it's fine to get it wrong. <laughs> You look stupid now. Uh, Favourite song? Um, Done it. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. This week, Ryan is our detective. There we go. Hello, Tom. Hi. All right, mate. What's uh, what's going on? Uh, A few weeks ago, I had to help some children move a dead dog. (laughs) Crikey. Okay. Stephen? Red is Joe. <laughs> I was almost arrested in Belgium. Really? Okay. We'll start with you then. Uh, what what happened? So we arrived there on the Thursday, yeah. and uh, it was a very quiet town. A little, little hustle and bustle because of the festival. It was about eight pm when we were going out, uh, just to just to find a pub, find some food. Everywhere was pretty much closed except for a little shop. Anyway, in this shop. Um, they had loads of loads of alcohol, some drinks that clearly stocked for Tomorrowland, but it was it was far too busy on the Thursday. So we came back Friday, the day of the first festival, for to get pre drinks. Uh, when we were in there, um, we were getting a bottle of Grey Goose because uh, it was it was cheap, relatively priced. Uh, but I was sort of showing off to uh, Zoe and the other people there, and I took a selfie with the Grey Goose and my glasses on, thinking it was hilarious. Um, but the shop owner was like, no, no, no pictures, no pictures. Right. wasn't even of him. Uh, he kicked off and then uh, bought the Grey Goose, was well, so he did, and then I was outside. Come Sunday, 
Yeah. Uh, we were pre-drinking. I was playing Ring of Fire with the gang. Mm. Um, there he goes. Let it go. Yeah. Um, good question, though. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Woo, great use. <laughs> and it's all over. Um, <laughs> half the group had gone to get their wristbands because they had to get one for Sunday, but we didn't. Uh, and we'd polished off uh, a bottle of vodka and we were low on alcohol come Sunday. So I jumped on the BMX and rode round, it's, it's about a five minute journey, uh, to the corner shop. Yep. And I'd go in the habit, because I was just by myself, because I was a maverick, of putting the vodka bottle down my shorts, because uh, I'd snuck one out the night before to oh. get out of the VIP area, not right. to take bottles out. I had big room in my shorts, because I've got a tiny penis. Yeah. But because I was just there on my own, the bike was parked outside, yeah. and I was carrying mixer and vodka, I'd put the vodka bottle there. Right. A little bit waved at the time, I just went with it. At which point, I felt a hand on my back. Yeah. The shopkeeper who had said, don't take the picture, had assumed I was Robin. Right. I was like, what? Check out these Nike trainers, man. Yeah. Didn't help. Uh, so he took me out the shop. Right. Technically stolen at that point, because it was, st- <laughs> yeah, I was still at the mixers, didn't have the vodka. And then they, they'd called the police, because they'd seen me on CCTV put, CCTV, put it down. Yeah. If they just said, excuse me, sir, I would have answered and gone, uh, uh, I think they had it out for me. Yeah. I was sat Sounds in a like police it. car <laughs> for, for Sounds like up, upwards of 15 minutes as I explained the whole VIP thing. They didn't really give a shit. They realised it was a non-issue. Right. But uh, terrifying. Wow. I okay. could have gone to Belgian prison. Yeah. Bloody hell. I would have missed out on Martin Garrix. Quite the story. Tom? I like that you let him have it, though. You really grilled him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I realised that I should have been asking questions for out because now I've yeah. forgotten everything. <laughs> Not forgotten everything. But, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tom, your... Your, <laughs> your story? Yeah. Your, uh, so I went for a walk. Um, where? It was up to... Uh, I'll grill him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Phil- Phillips Park near City's Ground. Oh, yeah. um, so it's, so it's fucking <laughs> Detective George yeah. Foreman over here. So it's like the nearest kind of nice park. Phillips Park's okay, but then it leads on to Clayton Vale. Oh, so does it? Right. It's a nice walk to go on. <laughs> the area. Uh, without having to like drive out, you know. Yeah. There's some kids. I was wondering what are these kids doing... Well, why is you thinking that? Hanging Mind around business, something mate? near this path, and I thought, what's going on? But I was walking past there anyway. When I get closer, there's a dead dog on the floor. <sighs> so I don't know what had happened, but I just mm. thought, oh, I could, you know, it was a bit... Uh, he they were like, it. Well, it was a bit suspicious anyway, the way they were all behaving. But basically, oh, I, I took it upon myself to uh, say that I was going to move the dog. Cause, uh, there was, Emotionally? Yeah, because there was people in the park... <laughs> I just thought I'd help move the dog uh, to, off to the yeah, side of the so, path, yeah. um, which I did. Uh, I, I, I don't know how, I, I think with dogs generally, a dog wouldn't be on its own if it wasn't a stray. Yeah. What kind of dog was it? Maybe it was like, um, I don't, I'm not really good with dog breeds. It was skinny. Um, oh. And you know the ones that look, they have a beard? Are it you was, looking in a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> fur. Yeah, it had fur. It wasn't a hairless dog. Um, <laughs> yeah. One of those bald yeah. skin dogs. Well, yeah, it could have been a stray. Um, Joe had manscaped yeah. it the night uh, before. Shaming it, but <laughs> I know what happened here. Yeah. I, had, I had a spare top in my bag, so I just um, tied the top around top and moved the dog off to the undergrowth at the side near the river. Oh, yeah, that's sad. Just thought it was the right thing to do. Um, there no bins around. Did you not? Did you call anyone? To let them know well, what am I going to do? I found a dead dog. I I know. I actually went on here, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was trying to impress this group of kids by uh, by Damn. bench pressing the dog, <laughs> which way he slipped and landed on it, <laughs> crushed its neck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he then killed it, but said no, he's just sleeping and ran off with it wrapped in his top. That's, that's my trick. I always <laughs> take something. It. I always take a story and slightly twist it. <laughs> he just dumped it off yeah. to the side. I went. Don't you tell anyone this happened, children. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, I have. I made a decision. <gasps> Based on... I got booze for the guys. Tom fucked a dog to death. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I am actually going to say that you're lying. <gasps> wow. Uh, yeah, Tom, I think you're lying. Steve, Interesting. Telling the truth. Uh-uh. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Max would have had the truth. For this. <laughs> you said two lies. I, I completely <laughs> forgot to think of a story. <laughs> oh, that was a. Uh, <laughs> I, came, I came up with that in all of five seconds. <laughs> I was making that up as I went along. <laughs> so both of you are lying. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And you fell for it. Yeah. Well done, Max. Loser. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Anyway, it is time oh, for... It's hot. It is warm. Viewers embarrassing stories. Embarrassing what time do you have to go, Ryan? Stories. Oh, like 22. Shit, we'll be uh, quick. We'll just just nah, do a quick story. Ten to, ten to, you'd be fine. No, no. Yeah, ten to. No, just to come to your work. Say there's been an incident on the way to work. I've pooed myself, Your Honor. Found a dead dog. <laughs> I got my dog. <laughs> Not a story about me, but it's the worst one I know. My mate Joe met a Spanish girl at university and became very much into her. He, like myself, is not experience with the ladies, so this was great for him. After about three months of pursuing her and a night of karaoke where he sung Elton John to her, he was at an end of uni drinks night and he intended to pour his heart out and tell her how he felt. He went outside with her and she said, One second, let me just say hello to my friend. Then she walked over to a girl and kissed her on the lips. He'd spent three months pursuing a lesbian. Love the pod. Keep it up. Uh. <laughs> bit, bit nothing, really. Uh, this one is from Cooksy. 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 I've got an embarrassing story. Went on a school Spanish trip to Barcelona in a massive market, and I'm talking with the girl I had a big crush on, and this Spanish clown comes up to us and gives me a balloon. And after I take it, he just grabs my man boobs and goes, honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I paid him two euros. So I basically paid a, cl- paid a clown to nonce on me. I could never speak to my crush again. <laughs> That's more like it, Cooksy. That's more like it, Cooksy. Uh, definitely happens to Max as well, that. Yeah. Must have. Must the other have. one, though. So they came back so soon. Getting to go... Getting to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that Spanish? Getting to know a girl for three months and then still not finding out that she's a lesbian. Still not find out. We have just found out. Yeah, yeah well... I'm, 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 you found out, Ryan. That was the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, but he found out... One detail in that. Her, one key detail and you just ignored it. after <laughs> chatting to her. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, right, you've brought the fucking mood down. Get uh, out. So Get out, Ryan. No. Have some Red Bull. Okay. Just some moisturiser. Yeah. It's not as smelly this week. It's weird. <laughs> it's not like it's sort of dense. The it's air is hum- easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we've got a like a humidifier or a purifier. Just mm. yeah. It's nice. There's no smog. <laughs> <laughs> is it someone outside? I can hear footsteps. How's it going, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, officer. Hello. Just gonna okay. pop myself down here. <laughs> Pardon? Just gonna pop myself down here. Uh, what's your name? Sorry. Uh, my name's Detective Dam. All right, Detective Dan. Are we in trouble? Dam. You say Dam. Detective Dam. Detective da- Dan. 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 D A N. Is that Dam? Like a Dan. 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 Like a beaver like, Dam. Like the Hoover Dam. Oh, like the name Dam. Dan. I don't give a damn. Like that, but Dan. Dan, D A N. Take away the M and put the N. Put the N. All oh, right. D A N. Is that saying? Dan. Um, okay. <laughs> so, Detective Dan, are we are we in trouble? Oh, I. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, I've just, oh, I. You're in trouble. Because <laughs> I've just solved the mystery of who did 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> you? No, 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 I didn't do it. All right. I've been on the case ever since. Oh, no. Working from home in Northern Ireland. And you've solved it? Aye. Because it's weird, because like, to us, you just seem like some crazy anonymous weirdo. What do you think that? Like a, like a badge? <laughs> oh, no, no. You could just be working in a car park. And you're a real officer of the law. Of course I am in Northern Ireland. <laughs> well, yeah, you do just some well. people. In, in some people's eyes, I am a real officer. What about your eyes? In my eyes, I'm a man of the people. <laughs> Who's just solved a bloody big claim? <laughs> where, where are you from, Dan? I'm, I'm not even heard. It's the real mystery. <laughs> this is all over the place. Where, where, where did 9 11 occur? Well, it occurred in the big city of New York. Manhattan. And I, I remember watching it at the time I was at home. Oh, you knew to watch it. Shouldn't you have been working? No, no, it was a day off. <laughs> what day yeah. was it? It was a. It was a Thursday. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't a Thursday. Oh, well, maybe it was a Tuesday. I can't remember now. Possibly. I but I remember know. seeing it happen on TV and I was thinking, fuck, <laughs> I need to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want a slice of that pie. So I went straight into town and I bought myself this and I thought, I'm going to solve this case. Oh, so you're not an official detective. Right. I was saying earlier in some people's eyes, I am. Right. Whose eyes? Well, I don't know them personally, but when I go up to people in the streets of, uh, of Belfast and I go, hey... Due to 9-11. This is your, this is your 
investigative process. <laughs> You've gone around your hometown <laughs> accusing accusing your neighbours, your city goers, <laughs> probably tourists of Belfast saying, did you do 9-11? Well, you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? you got a girlfriend, Dan. I'd start in, <laughs> of course start I in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> you got a boyfriend, Dan? I, I did have a girlfriend back in the day. She she was cheating on me, and I found out. Of course oh. you did, detective. I, How did you find out? I just walked in, and they were banging on my sofa. <laughs> and I thought, right, you're cheating on me. Yeah. Both of you know. <laughs> well, we, we should go back tonight. Who was she cheating on you with? It was my brother. You got a brother? I, older or younger? Sam. Uh, older. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. I've deduced he's younger. <laughs> he's younger. And How he's, old is he? Uh, the man's the man's twenty. He's twenty now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I, he's twenty now. But this when, was obviously like this three was years, years ago. ago. Yeah, three well, years ago. Three years ago it was. She, it feels how like old are you. Me, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm I'm thirty-one. Right, so hang on a minute. So three years ago. Sam was <laughs> 17. Die. Yeah? You were 28. No, no, no. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was quite young when I started investigating. How yeah, old you was were, she? You were 10 years old when 9-11 happened and you had a day off from the force, did you? <laughs> I was saying, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. How old are you, you, your ex-girlfriend? Her, right name, now, her name's this, Chloe. At this point in time, she's... Okay, I'm 28. <laughs> she's 28. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. it was all perfectly, perfectly yeah. in order. Uh, 25 and 17. Obviously, yeah. such a young That's age. Fine, I've been in the force in some people's <laughs> eyes. Um, trying to solve this case. Yeah. And um, I actually had the opportunity last year to go to New York. And I went around there trying to find out who it was. So did you, was you kind of employing a lot of your tried and tested techniques of going up to people and saying, did you do 9-11? Aye. Were you, yes. were you sat Aye. in the audience of a Broadway show just passing a note around saying, did you do 9-11? Uh, no, I made an announcement at halftime. Or at the <laughs> interval. You know, all the, all yeah, the I stood on that stage and I was like, was it you? In the second row. <laughs> right, so, hold on, you went to the effort of getting everyone's attention just to accuse one person. I wanted to put him on the spot. <laughs> So your chance right. to speak to possibly hundreds or thousands of people, yeah. you neglected that. I went, you're there, second row. Yeah, we rat. <laughs> well, the thing is, I can't just stand there and go, hey, did anyone here do 9-11? Well, you could. That's much better than accusing one person who's then getting fucking looked and probably taken out by security. Along Have with you yourself. factored in that the oh. person who did it might deny it? But I, I can read a man's eyes. I know when they're lying. I'm sure it's a man. I've grown up around liars and I've been out with liars. Yeah, yeah. I was raised by a pair of liars. <laughs> they are told you, me are you I adopted? Would grow up to, no, no yeah, I wasn't yeah. there with my, my parents. My, my born. How long was your girlfriend cheating on you? <laughs> I don't know. Many years could have been. <laughs> oh, that, I mean, she, your 17 year old brother, she was a paedophile. You were, you were, you were, Many years. You were in a relationship with a paedophile and you're somehow a detective. That's why she's in prison now. <laughs> Well, th did you take it like, like by the back of a neck? I did. Like, this this woman's a way pedophile, right? I, I, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. She's been fucking my Sam. Yes, he is younger. Um, but what I realised when I was in New York <laughs> on the hunt for this killer. So, did you do any touristy things? <laughs> I mean, you said you went to Broadway. I, I went to the Titanic Museum. I don't know why, because there's one in Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> What was the uh, what was the Broadway show you went to see? <laughs> it was Mamma Mia. Oh wow! There was a lot of middle-aged women in there. <laughs> the Titanic. <laughs> Do they have a Titanic museum in New York? I believe so. I did you did you investigate? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. do you know there's a conspiracy there's the theory world. about 9/11? There's also one about the Titanic. Have oh, you, have I am you... onto that next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm onto that. Would have been good to uh, to leave a note there at the museum saying, "Did you do it?" Yeah, yeah. It is going to be hard because most of the people are dead now. Can I get your your number one suspicious uh, suspicion of who did the Titanic? It was probably the Queen. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, the Queen of sorry, the King. Queen of the King. George. <laughs> the Queen of England, George. <laughs> King of England. Queen. King of England, King George. What's the conspiracy again? The <laughs> conspiracy. Titanic. Yeah. About, uh, didn't actually sink. I think one he did. Or well, they did it for insurance. Uh, they built this giant freezer and they put a big block of ice and then <laughs> blew it out into the sea, dumped it there right in the path of the Titanic. And on the night <laughs> that it happened, King George phoned the captain 
of the Titanic. Went, I need to talk to you. So he just looked away for a split second Aye. and he hit a giant ice cube. I When you put it like that, <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Didn't see it coming. Did not see it coming. I didn't see that coming. No. No. I don't uh, think King George expected it to be so successful. I think he was hoping... Uh, what do you think heir to the throne, King George, I didn't was expecting see, when I he was I don't born. think he was expecting so many people to die. I think he was... Oh, just, uh, what do you think he was expecting? When you say successful, you mean purposes, killing... He wanted to wipe out the boat, but obviously he thought Did, there was going to be... He wanted to wipe out the boat, but didn't want anyone to die. I, I mean, he knew there'd be some. Oh, well, that's thought, so callous, isn't it? thought that there would be Good enough care. lifeboats and everything <coughs> like that, but there just wasn't. Just wasn't. Right, so who did 9-11? The Queen of England. Fucking <laughs> I, I told you that. So, yeah. so no, you, you I... said that was the Titanic. <laughs> oh, no, hey, the King was the Titanic, but the Queen, she's responsible for 9-11. And who's, who started uh, COVID-19? China. <laughs> I thought just, we were following a, the royals there, yeah, but no. The no, no, no. Just the whole the whole it's billion not, people of China. Not, China they, not, they all played their part. Was it an April Fool's? What was it? Uh, it was... Do you know what? I've not quite got into the whole Corbett thing yet. That's next on the list. You're Things still, like you hadn't got into the Titanic thing, but in the space of a few minutes, you fucking solved it. Yeah. This you said it was next on the list. Well, yeah, but. yeah. As, as soon as you get things out of your head and onto, you know, onto other people's ears or out in the world, you seem to solve it so quickly. I am very good like that. It's a but, shame you don't have a partner anymore to speak to. I know. You don't have, a, know. You don't have a job either, no? This is, you do this full this time. This is my job. People, you, sometimes people pay me. So, right. Pay me to go away, mind. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you afford Broadway tickets in New York? Uh, well, the thing is, is that I sort of snuck on a boat to get to New York. <laughs> Where did you hide? I was so cheeky. Um, oh, I, I went I in this woman's... <laughs> this woman's... <laughs> it was this woman's suitcase that I opened up and emptied all her clothes out Then I climbed in. When we got there, uh, and she opened her case and saw me. Obviously, she was a bit shocked. And I was like, don't worry, I'm, I'm an, an officer, officer of the, of the law. law. <laughs> and she said, what, she what said, crime are you? Said, oh, fair enough, then. And I was like, thank you, my love. <laughs> my love? Oh, that's too informal for my I got her number. <laughs> that's a lie. I don't know. <laughs> That wasn't a lie. I got her number good. <laughs> she didn't test me back. What did you text her? I went, I had her. You're right. So she I, opened up her case to see you sniffing her knickers, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she gave you her number. <laughs> but she believed everything. That, uh, You're a manipulative was... piece of shit. <laughs> no, what do you mean, I'm not. What do you mean she believed everything? Ass. Ass. She should believe everything if there were no <laughs> lies told. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on Tom. Hold on, Tom. Please. Please stand up and repeat what you just said. Go on, stand up. Um, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what I just said. You got a sexy what? Oh, oh, I've got a sexy ass. Stand up. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Get out. You're all on the list. <laughs> You're all going down with me. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeans are going down because of your flat ass. Anyway, that was uh, uh, a weirdo. Yeah, oh, it's now time for uh, Ryan's crying. Oh, Ryan, quick! Hurry up, Ryan! Quick! It's my favorite bit of the show. Yeah, it's Ryan's crying. Ryan's hey. crying. Hello there. My name is Ryan Locke. Send him off. Send the dirty guys off. Um, so things that make me upset, makes me want to cry. <laughs> I, hate, I, I hate having to wash shoes. You hate having um, to wash your shoes? Yes, because I'm, worried, I'm worried that my shoes are going to get ruined in the machine. I'm worried I'm going to break Oh, washing them in the machine. Yeah, yeah. Is there a certain setting you need to put it on? I mean, I just put there them is. on a quick wash. And put them in a pillowcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. I did yeah. that. But yeah, I, I, I had put loads of towels in as well with it because I was... Uh, first time I did it, it was banging I'll, in the I'll machine. get the dog off. shit out. Mm. Don't like it. It, right. There's a setting Next. for shoes. <laughs> so I was just asking if it was. Fine. Oh, well, there should be a setting. That's, that's good. Cheers, mate. <laughs> big tablets <laughs> like, are horrible. Like taking. So he, yeah, Zoe so doesn't like big tablets. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, see, I can't. I need like small tablets. I can keep them in my mouth until I find a drink of water to drink. You know, oh, they don't no. bother me. No, because then it gets all sticky in your mouth. Yeah. Do you like vitamin tablets? Like, I don't like big ones. Don't take them. It's supposed to what ecstasy? Well, I, I, I quite. I don't like taking tablets, but yeah, aggressive drunks. They make me upset. Dave's an aggressive Ooh. drunk, isn't he? Can um, be. Yeah, he can be a bit. Yeah, hot. hot Do you ever things. get drunk together? Just on just the two of you. He gets aggressive. Hot, you hot. get loving. I mean, probably. He's yeah. pounded on the couch. 
but he's not really aggressive. No, it's just the two of us. But yeah, he, he's quick. He gets very defensive. Yeah. For, uh, mm. But yeah, the aggressive drunks are bad. Is there anyone that you know, kind of personally? Yeah, yeah. This uh, this guy that was at the wedding. Usually, oh. like, on a on a day to day basis, he's actually like quite a nice guy. He's Father of the bride. No, no. Um, but when it, when he's been drinking, he, he was just like starting on a couple of people for absolutely no reason, just because he just wanted a fight. What a piece of shit! What a piece of shit! Hate it. Should have mentioned it in your best man speech. Should have. This was after though when he started. Should have got back up and said another thing. Here, hold on a second. I wasn't done. <laughs> oh, there during the during the, the father of the bride speech, <laughs> actually. <laughs> And then you could have a really angry piece of toast and say, this represents that over there who's been starting on people. Yeah. Mm. Should have threw the plastic knife at him. No, because then Ooh. you would better as him. Yeah. No, that's not nice. Um, I've only got one more. I hate how the good days go so quick. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Do you know what? I knew you were going to say that. Is Fuck so off. quick. It's like the inside of a fucking Yeah, they card. always go quick though, yeah. don't they? It's time for Tom Looney. Looney, Looney. This week, I have done Tom Looney, yep. and I've called it Stephen Unwise. Uh, I found some some confessions. You have to tell me if they're real confessions or I've made them up, okay? <laughs> there is a point on offer for each one. The winner will get a prize that Tom finds. First one. When cleaning up... Oh, yes! Oh, I can't even win. When cleaning up after a sex session, my husband and I sing... SpunkyTissue.com in the theme of FunkyPigeon.com. Was that me or was that a real confession? That's you. It's a, it's a, it's a confession. One nil, Ryan. <sighs> you should edit that this way. Said wife. Well, no, yeah, it's not going to be a confession that I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake! It's not my confession, is it? You've won it, be- no, I know, but Ryan's won it because he thought Stephen doesn't have a wife. <laughs> When I was 12, I had my first wank to Wendy from Peter Pan. I recently watched the stage show with my wife and kids and found myself erect for the whole first act. I had to deal with myself during the interval. Is that a confession? Uh, or is that me? Well, as in I've written it, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I've yeah, done I, it. I think you've written that one. I'll say it's real. 2 nil, Ryan. No, I'd say I knew, it was, I knew it was Stephen, but I just thought, you know, for the sake of... Third one. Entertainment. Third of six. I once spent two hours pouring buckets of water onto the road by a bus stop just so I could drive through it the next day and soak the school kids who had called me a wanker. It's real. Yeah, confession. And are you going to go go the same? Uh, no, no, I, are you no, just trying to keep your lead, aren't you? No, no, I, yeah, I, I want to win. Uh, I made it up. Oh. Ha! <laughs> uh, next one. I have a pile of novelty £20 notes with Ainsley Harriet's face on that I like to give to charity collectors in the street. Uh, Stephen's made that up. Uh, no, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you've made that up. That's what I was going to say. You're both correct. I sell certain substances. The amount of my ex-teachers I come across is eye-opening. It's always awkward as fuck. That's a confession. Well, obviously, I, it makes no sense for me to say it's a confession. I'm circling the drain here. Stephen's made that up. 3 0 Ryan. Yes, there we should, go. We do, should we do last one? Is all to play for. Go on. I joined a swinging website, and my new favourite hobby is leading horny men to non existent hotel rooms for sex. I chuckle away at the thought of them knocking on door 105 of the local Premier Inn. That is. That's a confession, also. Do you know what? Let's just let's play the game. Let's play the game. Stephen made it up. Ryan wins. I like him. <laughs> Proper looking forward to that. You can keep it. It's all right. It's gone now. No one gets to have it. Uh, it's time for the final question. <laughs> it's the final question. You have to get a million views on a video in a day or you die. What do you film? Bloody hell. Uh, <sighs> and what did you put it on? Million views in a day. Do you know what? I probably have to do something outrageous <laughs> at like a football game. Like just run onto the pitch dressed as a. But a pit. Well, that's that's late at night, often, isn't it? <laughs> if it's a big game, yeah, yeah, that'll yeah, attract yeah, attention. Right, I know. And what if you get taken by the police and put in custody? <laughs> you don't have your phone. I don't know, just do something weird with a cake for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But find uh, 
I don't know. Someone reporting in the morning and um, just yeah. say something really funny. <laughs> a fake prank, maybe. I'd... Uh, Fake prank could be funny. Fake prank could be good, yeah. But then, yeah, but don't imagine, tell Max it's a fake if you, prank. Imagine if you didn't get to a million views and that, and that's your legacy. Yeah, <laughs> the last thing you did. <laughs> uh, you know, you Ryan, have a, a good chance chopping together Ryan's podcast footage. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that would the, be the, the thing you said was you'd say something really funny. Could we get a taste of what that? Would be yeah, like? we could. Yeah, yeah, of course. So someone's reporting. So, and, yeah, uh, we could do that if you want to act it out. Yeah. Um, it was a great tragedy today, as 14 children's lives were taken and massacred. And it's bloody raining. <laughs> I think you've done it. <laughs> Million views right there. Just got to find the reporter. <laughs> and a <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on, a silly, on a silly day, How far? I don't know what's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think if it's not raining <laughs> and you've got no trousers on, <laughs> that's what I'd do. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd probably do a. <laughs> that's a stumpy <laughs> A breakup video, they always do well. Mm. Uh, do a carpool karaoke. <laughs> With the uh, one of Stereophonics, would you have Andrew Tate on the podcast? I'd do a million views. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and get him to do a character. Yeah, uh, I'd be. I'd just be ripping one. Just, mm. Yeah, just farting, I'm, uh, <laughs> ripping into and going. Oh, Andrew, you, you've not come out with anything funny. I've been doing my Andy Parsons walking. You've been sat there like a fucking gimp. I'd, so. I'd. If it was, if it was do or die in terms of the video. Yeah, I'd probably just do one of those. Accidentally leak me wank into something. Mm. It's my best chance, which is sad because you know for the past how many years I've been making videos, my best chance of getting good views <laughs> is to pretend I've leaked or someone's leaked me having a wank. Yeah. But but it's got to be it's got to be to something weird like Lizzie yeah. McGuire. <laughs> Tracy, sponsored by uh, Manscaped. Yeah, but yeah, you'd have to. I wonder if they would sponsor it. Ironically, that's the kind of people they are. Hmm. If I if I censored my masturbation video and then they just put Manscaped over it, let me know, Manscaped. Or if you think that would be bad for your for your product and look, <clears throat> let me know. I won't be offended. Would you uh, <clears throat> would you masturbate into a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking knock. I've got to go to work now. <laughs> that was a Steve Trice Don't podcast. <laughs> Right, see you later. <laughs> I'm going to get cleaned up now, aren't I? Then we have to go. God, leave that red bull can there. <laughs> 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 you see a bird shouting. It's going to look like spunk. <laughs> when he's wiped it off. <laughs> the thing is, he doesn't talk. <laughs> so he's just not going to say anything. <laughs> And he hates the smell of it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's been the Stephen Tries podcast. Oh. I'm enjoyed by Tom Looney, hey. Looney, 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 and Ryan Locke. Yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Don't stick. Shall I do it? No. no. <laughs> See you later, my love. Goodbye. Stay safe. I can't believe you've done this, Ryan.